The 1980-1981 NBA season was the 35th season of the National Basketball Association. The season began on October 10th, 1980 and ended on March 29th, 1981. As of today, this was the last time an NBA season, including the postseason, had ended before Memorial Day. The Dallas Mavericks become the league's 23rd franchise. As a result, the NBA realigns four of its teams to better reflect their geographical locations. The Milwaukee Bucks and Chicago Bulls move to the Eastern Conference and the San Antonio Spurs and Houston Rockets to the West. The number one pick was Joe Barry Carroll, selected by the Golden State Warriors. Spot World, well, welcome to NBA Rap. Those are some quick facts about this season. We're growing fast, so please hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you're new, and let's get into the team records. Leading the league in the East were the Boston Celtics with the 62 win 20 loss season, followed by the Milwaukee Bucks, 60 and 22, Philadelphia 76ers, 62 and 20, New York Knicks, 50 and 32, Chicago Bulls, 45 and 37, and Indiana Pacers, 44 and 38. Missing the playoffs were the Washington Bullets, 39 and 43, Atlanta Hawks, 31 and 51, Cleveland Cavaliers, 28 and 54, New Jersey Nets, 24 and 58, and Detroit Pistons, 21 and 61. The West was led by the Phoenix Suns, 57 wins, 25 losses, followed by the San Antonio Spurs, 52 and 30, Los Angeles Lakers, 54 and 28, Portland Trailblazers, 45 and 37, Kansas City Kings, 40 and 42, and Houston Rockets, 40 and 42. Missing the playoffs were the Golden State Warriors, 39 and 43, Denver Nuggets, 37 and 45, San Diego Clippers, 36 and 46, Seattle Supersonics, 34 and 48, Utah Jazz, 28 and 54, and Dallas Mavericks, 15 and 67. Let's take it to the season leaders in all-star game. Leading the league in scoring was Adrian Danley of the Utah Jazz, averaging 30.7 points per game. The assist leader was Kevin Porter of the Washington Bullets, averaging 9.1 assists per game. The rebounds leader, Moses Malone of the Houston Rockets, averaging 14.8 rebounds per game. The steals leader went to Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers, averaging 3.4 steals per game. Leading the league in blocks was George Johnson of the San Antonio Spurs, averaging 3.4 blocks per game. The 1981 NBA All-Star Game was the 31st edition of the game and was played on February 1st, 1981 at the Richfield Coliseum in Richfield, Ohio. The East was able to win over the West 123-120. to Nate Archibald finished with just 9 points and 9 assists, but it was his mastery of the game's tempo that kept the West at bay and earned him MVP honors. The Eastern Conference All-Stars were Reggie Thies and Artis Gilmore of the Chicago Bulls, Julius Irving and Bobby Jones of the Philadelphia 76ers, Larry Bird Robert Parrish and Nate Archibald of the Boston Celtics, Michael Ray Richardson of the New York Knicks, Marquise Johnson of the Milwaukee Bucks, Mike Mitchell of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Eddie Johnson of the Atlanta Hawks, and Dan Roundfield of the Atlanta Hawks, who missed the game due to injury. They were coached by Billy Cunningham of the Philadelphia 76ers. The Western Conference All-Stars were Paul Westphal and Jack Sigma of the Seattle Supersonics, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Jamal Wills of the Los Angeles Lakers, George Gervin of the San Antonio Spurs, Adrian Danley of the Utah Jazz, Walter Davis, Dennis Johnson, and Truck Robinson of the Phoenix Suns, Moses Malone of the Houston Rockets, and Otis Birdsong of the Kansas City Kings. They were coached by John McLeod of the Phoenix Suns. Let me know if I said any names wrong. I think I'm good. Hey, if you're new, let me tell you, we need that Rookie of the Year award here in Spa World, so please hit that sub button. If you've already been here before, you know the drill. Please hit that like button and drop a comment. It really helps the video. Let's get into our award winners. Winning the MVP of the season was Julius Irving of the Philadelphia 76ers, averaging 24.6 points per game, 4.4 assists per game, and 8 rebounds per game. The Rookie of the Year went to Daryl Griffith of the Utah Jazz, averaging 20.6 points per game, 2.4 assists per game, and 3.6 rebounds per game. The coach of the year, Jack McKinney of the Indiana Pacers. Making the All-NBA first team, Larry Bird of the Boston Celtics, averaging 21.2 points per game, 5.5 assists per game, and 10.9 rebounds per game. Julius Irving of the Philadelphia 76ers, averaging 24.6 points per game, 4.4 assists per game, and 8 rebounds per game. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar of the Los Angeles Lakers, averaging 26.2 points per game, 3.4 assists per game, and 10.3 rebounds per game. Dennis Johnson of the Phoenix Suns, averaging 18.8 points per game, 3.7 assists per game, and 4.6 rebounds per game. And George Gervin of the San Antonio Spurs, averaging 27.1 points per game, 3.2 assists per game, and 5.1 rebounds per game. Making the All-NBA second team, Marquise Johnson of the Milwaukee Bucks, averaging 20.3 points per game, 4.6 assists per game, and 6.8 rebounds per game. Adrian Danley of the Utah Jazz, averaging 30.7 points per game, 4 assists per game, and 6.4 rebounds per game. Moses Malone of the Houston Rockets, averaging 27.8 points per game, 1.8 assists per game, and 14.8 rebounds per game. Otis 
Carlos Birdsong of the Kansas City Kings, averaging 24.6 points per game, 3.3 assists per game, and 3.6 rebounds per game. And Nate Archibald of the Boston Celtics, averaging 13.8 points per game, 7.7 .7 assists per game, and 2.2 rebounds per game. Making the All-NBA rookie team, Kelvin Ramsey of the Portland Trailblazers, Daryl Griffith of the Utah Jazz, Larry Smith and Joe Barry Carroll of the Golden State Warriors, and Kevin McHale of the Boston Celtics. On the NBA All-Defensive First Team, Bobby Jones and Caldwell Jones of the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't know if they're brothers, let me know. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar of the Los Angeles Lakers, Dennis Johnson of the Phoenix Suns, and Michael Ray Richardson of the New York Knicks. On the NBA All-Defensive Second Team, Dan Roundfield of the Atlanta Hawks, Kermit Washington of the Portland Trailblazers, George Johnson of the San Antonio Spurs, Quinn Buckner of the Milwaukee Bucks, and Dudley Bradley of the Indiana Pacers, and Michael Cooper of the Los Angeles Lakers. Time for the last spot. Let's get into the most important part of the season, the playoffs. In the Eastern Conference first round, Chicago defeated New York 2-0, and Philadelphia defeated Indiana 2-0. In the Western Conference first round, Houston defeated the Los Angeles Lakers 2-1, and Kansas City defeated Portland 2-1. In the Eastern Conference semifinals, Philadelphia won over Milwaukee in a seven-game series, and Boston swept Chicago. In the Western Conference semifinals, Kansas City defeated Phoenix in a seven-game series, and Houston advanced over San Antonio in a seven-game series. In the Eastern Conference Finals, Boston defeated Philadelphia in seven to advance to the NBA Finals. And in the Western Conference Finals, Houston defeated Kansas City four games to one to advance to the NBA Finals. The 1981 NBA Finals began on May 5th and ended on May 14th, featuring the Boston Celtics versus the Houston Rockets. This series has the distinction of featuring for the third time in NBA history and last to date, a team with a losing record in the Finals. No one figured this series to be much of a Finals. Houston had lost its previous dozen games to the Celtics. Celtics, including a 4-0 series sweep in the previous year's playoffs. Game 1 saw Houston come out with energy, leading 57-51. By the end of the first half, late in the fourth period, with the Celtics trailing 84-87, Larry Bird put up an 18-footer from the right side. As soon as he turned it loose, he immediately rushed in for the rebound. He caught the ball in midair, and in an instant, he switched the ball to his left hand and flipped it in the basket. Bird would finish with 18 points, 21 rebounds, and 9 assists, leading Boston to a 98-95 Win. Despite another big double-double from Bird, 19 points and 21 rebounds, Moses Malone had an even bigger double-double with 31 points and 15 rebounds to power his team to a 92-90 Game 2 win. Now in Houston, Robert Reed was able to hold Larry Bird to just 8 points. However, the Rockets shot just 3 for 17 in the second quarter, fell behind by 17, and never came back, losing the game 71-94. to Mike Dunleavy Sr. powered the Rockets in Game 4 with a 28-point performance. Moses Malone added 24 points and 22 rebounds, and with Bird limited to only 8 points once again, Houston tied up the series 2-2, winning 91-86. Moses Malone had been trash talking the Celtics, declaring, Boston ain't that good. Before Game 5, he said, I can get 4 guys off the street in Petersburg, his hometown, and beat them. Cedric Maxwell of the Boston Celtics didn't take those comments lightly, dropping a 28-point, 15 rebound on the Rockets, and leading his team to a 109-80 win. The infamous on-air incident incident between Rick Barry and Bill Russell occurred early in the third quarter of this game. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a video on the details of that. By the fourth quarter of game six, the Celtics were up 84 to 67. While the championship looked secured, they went five minutes without a basket, and the Rockets scored 13 unanswered points. Larry Bird then hit a clutch shot, dished out an assist to Maxwell, and wrapped it up with a big three to put the Rockets away and win the game 102 to 91, getting Boston its 14th NBA championship ring. Cedric Maxwell was named the finals MVP with 17.7 points per game, 2.8 assists per game, and 9.5 rebounds per game in six games. Spot World, that's wraps up today's episode of NBA Rap. Go ahead, watch more episodes. They're in the playlist if you haven't already. And if you want to keep learning more about ball, you can do that right there.